What's up, dudes? Well, my descent into total nerddom continues unchecked. Uh, a couple days ago, I went and did a Viking-themed photo shoot in the woods, and I thought I would show you some of that. Enjoy. Well, here we are at historic <laughs> Fort Snelling. Now we're back in the car. <laughs> because it's too goddamn cold out there. We're all wearing silly makeup. We're at historic Fort Snelling, famous Civil War camp in Minnesota. Uh, I think Amy just burped a fart. Amy just burped a fart. We're here with a bunch of Vikings and um, like ladies in waiting. And I think that ostensibly this is supposed to be a warrior shoot, but I did not wear a warrior outfit. I wore a lady's outfit. Because I'm living my Sansa Stark season six fantasy. <laughs> when I got when the makeup artist told me she was gonna start doing my makeup, she said, I'm gonna do a more natural look for you. And this was her interpretation of a natural look. <laughs> so we went through the McDonald's drive-thru on our way here. We sure did. We sure did. <laughs> Amy's driving. Let's let's get a close-up of her face. This Looks is like the face that ordered coffee. Oh, oh they're leaving us. Let's they're go. leaving us. Well, our our journeymen. No. No. Not sure what we're doing right now. Will is sort of just like leading us into the woods <laughs> next to the fort. We're so to we're about to get murdered by some <laughs> ghosts, <laughs> some Civil War ghosts. Here we are, a beautiful <laughs> fort snowing. Uh, holding my axe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Hello, there. Yes. <laughs> You're a monkey, Jared. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah, but. Yeah. Am I in the sun? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I didn't stop. <laughs> Something in there? I don't know. Katie, look in there. It's a staircase. Is it? having a rough couple weeks. Uh, what else is new? I'm sure that everyone is sick of hearing me say this on this channel, but I was having a really hard time. I had to get my life together. But the good news is that I've sort of gotten my life together really nicely in the past week, where in the past week I've slept eight hours every night. I've been drinking like 10 cups of water a day. I've been keeping track of everything I put in my mouth. I've been sober. It's all sort of combined into a very pleasant physical experience for me right now. Um, something that I talked about in therapy this morning, which is kind of um, uh, hilarious or tragic, it's depending on uh, how you want to view it, I guess, but I was talking about how sometimes feeling very well physically can be sort of triggering for me to binge again. Um, basically, I'm just, I'm very uncomfortable uh, having a human form, being in a body, being, you know, alive and, and all that sort of thing. And just uh, feeling my bodily sensations is very uncomfortable for me. And um, basically, when I start feeling really healthy, like I do right now, um, that can, I, I like get this weird feeling inside of my brain. Like I feel so good. I feel so good. I'm going to keep feeling good. And then I drink like a bottle of whiskey or something because I'm like, I'm feeling so good. I'm going to take it to the next level of feeling good. I'm always going to feel good. And, um, but then I don't feel good. And I talked about in therapy today about how I'm more comfortable, uh, nursing myself 
then I am actually feeling healthy. So that's fun. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. But I guess that the point being that I'm feeling very well. Um, today, I, was, I went to therapy and then I came home and I was doing my work from home and um, I've been doing ch like a uh, checklist, like to-do lists where I just like, I write down all the things and then I do one and I don't start the next one until I do it and I finish all kinds of things. Like my apartment is so fucking clean right now. But um, yeah, so, and I had on my to-do list, I was like, okay, work at home until four o'clock, like on my computer for my job. And I got done at four o'clock and I was like, great, now what? And I started hearing my cat, my cat meow from the kitchen and he was meowing distress meows. And I came in here and he was having another one of his seizures. Mm. And I, if you followed my channel, you know that my cat has weird seizures about every six months and I've taken him to the doctor a bunch of times. They don't know what's wrong with him. And so I was just like, uh, I was like, my to-do list, I've, I've gotten so many things done today. I'm doing so well. And then, oh, oh, my cat is dying. So I just like had to like sit and talk to my cat while he was like having a seizure on the floor. I actually uh, resorted to, I just opened Twitter and was just reading him tweets, which he seemed to be comforted by. But yeah, the whole seizure lasted about an hour. And, um, but he's fine. So I, that's my story for that. Um, but anyway, I just wanted, I wanted to also share something last week that my therapist, uh, shared with me that I found very, very helpful. So last week, last Monday, a week ago today, I was in like a really rough place. I was in a really rough place with my mental health. I was feeling just about as bad as you can feel almost without, you know, somebody dying or something. Um, and it was like, I was coming off of another week of like binging and just not taking care of myself and like just doing everything wrong. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't drinking water. I was not sober. I was eating garbage. I was spending money like it was on fire. You know, all of the things that make me feel anxious and unhappy. And I was saying to my therapist, like, I just can't get a handle on it. I don't know what I need to do to get all of these things back together. I need to do this. I need to do this. I need to do this. And she told me that sometimes bad behaviors are like a wheel, right? And it just keeps going. It's like you, you, uh, you feel tired because you didn't sleep and so you don't pack your lunch the next day and then you're spending money at the cafeteria and then you're anxious because you're spending too much money and then you drink a bunch of beer and then you you know you stay up all night and it just like keeps going and going and going and then you feel sick and you're eating greasy food and blah 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 blah, blah. And she said sometimes all it takes is um just to stop the wheel just a little bit and the whole thing will fall apart so just take one spoke out. Sometimes the whole wheel collapses. So the thing that I did was I made my budget and went to bed on time. And that was all that it took. And then it was just like all, and it's just like, then the cascade of good things happened. It's like, then I, I woke up feeling all right because I went to bed and I had enough sleep and I had a, a written out budget that I was you know, thinking about, and so I didn't spend money, and then it's like, all the goods, all the goodwill, the goodwill started, uh, turning, and I just kept with it until today, and I'm still, and it's still here, so, feeling good, guys, that's my life update, okay, bye!